The Jazz Siphonic Glass Ear, Part 11. Part X11, part of the lazy, hazy, jazz, symphonic glass here that hears the humble, hubble, bubble, blister, blind, some words breaking, the woody, wood, wind, woozy, with wool of the word mongering mouth. I am such a man before men that plays the placid, plain, and planned plasticity I can. With my wordy workmanship to wake the words man under the fire of an open mouth that the god of rain put out the flame of your intercourse is the food of libation the smoke of your breath the cinder of your tongue all an offering from the god's poet. Within the integrant plan of nature a plan without fault by the blind eyes of a newborn in the small hour of war and erect poet birthing the water of a tear poet of the gigantic embittered and aid inferiority of the music of red and the troubled anger of blue the sky is weeping weeping wondrous wild wide anger wiggles the way of the cross where the weasel words is a workable weather worm like in its world power where the air that wrappeth share its song with the clear new water though the eye of an evil where yesterday's breeze sees the home grown brown foam down by the fern that burned to be understood the decreased deceased shadows are running away from the brownness of a mountain pass with its audience of rocks aspens and ponderosa pines the introduction of the wind is welcomed by the soundtrack of lips and the dancer's fingers point to the dramatic discovery of an illumination of motion overwhelming with its willingness to generalize the determined innocence of a new midnight held in the darkness of daylight without its sunlight I fill in my emotion with alcohol with cold 45 with the joint with the defense of a smile I acknowledge the extreme importance of force and form of the size of a brilliant thumb pressed to the immortal aggregate of the creator of organs the air is alive with the drained logics of a flower that bore the deplored ear of stone alone in the wilderness of a thought the wooded fold of mountain bold in the tip to hold of a wild rose that blast the born fast bloom castle to the next text written on the steep and deep wheel that is still bearing down on the brother who is my lover in the life the mentioned intimate of the anthropomorphic figurines Jesus the question is could he read and write the syllable of pleasure did he smell his own musk in his desert walk where he relied neither on the eyes or ears as a measurer of his decoratively blazing fire of an ocean of mountain did he have bad breath these questions ask is no disrespect to get to the humanness of the man of peace and Grace man cannot put to nitpick at the Ten Commandments to commit the fine enjoyable utterance that touch the evil found in the breath of the evil chant of the word nigger 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 heard in the mulatto prominence of Denver where the Hispanic and black and white myths are fighting to be seen of one race multiracial race is the race of the new americus they are the inherent poets yellow is yelling in the ensemble of tulips where the deserted butterfly is scarred over by the sweet scent of stone crop at the foot of yarrows beside the low edge of a breeze telling time with its breath of worms squirming beneath the fat curse at its worst poet the precursor of poems poet of the play possessed child of pious words poets pondering the requisition of a prepubescent prepossession around the thoughts of the gods you are the prophets of the common good and should take your place among the talk of the streets to teach man the deepest doing tell all of your secrets that all be known lay yourself bare to the emotional bone rife history and your needs to connect with the soul of your readers far and few in this time of movement toward the rhyme of rap each generation its poets and you each few born to it who shall by the shadows of your soul shocked one by one spark by spark of its spatial needs teach that man need not live in the hell of his own making speak incessantly against the crippling forces of a blind agony's iron laws in a society grown fat and lazy and heavy of the back of men treated as pack horses to carry the burden of the few in the cities where the ungifted 
poor common man I in despair and dead and find joy in the promise of a heaven that can never be proved these imperceptive naturalistic victims of religions dependent upon the tragic feeling. Poet of the sharp peaks of pervasive words of the swollen words seduce them till they are tamed in your thorny throat and trapped by the scenery of your meanings appease the gods of the common man caught within the sacrificial emanation of the cross poet the guardian of the gate. Hold your end to the fire so that when your name is called you will give your all against the misconceived injustice of time. Time bear no blame. Go where the water inhabiting water is spilled on the private wishes mismanaged by the broken memories vibrating their beautiful horny innocence. Like the wind within the storm wanting to fill up every moderated, meditated, mitigated motion of its whirl a good whittling way with words, poets mismanaging meanings, mapping the perfect drift of fearful lustral thoughts, advancing in its own rhythm, requiring neither lung nor tongue in the moment of its silent motion. You think of you and you exist in the thoughts of the self. My sister points out an ugly flower. How can such a thing be saved? Beauty be filtered through the feel of the self. Same self yet each thing itself an individual that preclude ugliness the individuality. Is its beauty such are men among men the chain gang swamp of meaning surrender its consciousness to the nocturnal beauty of an abrupt remorse that travel the midnight geometry of the human temples and limited in the brotherhood mimicking the gigantic timelessness of water who sacrifice the water for the peace. Who have forgotten the storms of fresh water with its lyrical bulge busted open upon the earth when will the wind full of rain wave its way dry again in the sunlit clearing of a clean day? Poet with your inner subjective consciousness manifesting the unbearable unthinkable cessation phenomena of the revisionist's emotional melancholy's imitation do not forget the substance of passion held in the self-reliance in gross dualism in its solitude of splendor caught in the pen of an inquisitor's terrific hands the unpardonable tongue of street. Lights with their vapors eyelids opening on the point of dusk with its transparency of darkness coming on strong against the desolation of a nocturnal yellow immensely full of the effort of a dying sun when dawn come go into the immortal streets where man hear the dark sacrifice of a fortnight bright with liberation completely wild the wayward child of an overworn war at the gates of the estates of the sun there we wait only for you to ascend and spend your bright words to shine your light on the rare air held at the end of a lost wind in the mind make an end as if all of mankind is your king or friend gather together the emotional weather of men's mind then lurch forward with pen in hand to stitch together the wound that the city inflict on the knowable soul with its waist bound around in the place of the confounded gloom held in the tomb of the flesh the staunch soul waits with its collapsing fantastic gift of wisdom to be spoken of betwixt the fixed end of a dream and what daylight i've seen poet we love you with your comfortable sorrow devouring the sorrow of all men with your lonely love huddling your hands you have the sin eater the woes of the world falls upon you and you bear the weight of it with grace you run the race hung around the neck of mankind the steep and deep race round a sleep that cannot tell the end place of this mountain of emotion that we must climb with the heavy chains of our flesh aiming to keep us down your easy words are the stepping stones you know the worst and best of us in you there is relief from grief the cheap that creep upon the small all-encumbering whirlwind of passing time you have the witness of your very own speak the lament that weak words that obey those who pray the tormenting comfortless thirst of the world advise us spy for us go into the enemy's camp where man will do man harm go into the hurtful hunger of war and report all of our doing bring it all to light with your bright strength toward the truth of your polorio can be you pensive and pious let your poems beat the dome giving penance 
with all of its pendulous mist piled high against the musical notations of the forest where you go around and around in the wilderness in search of the last knowledge of the human soul lost in the Brit over sky poet of the homeless forever looking down poet of love poet of sorrow poet of the gods you have their handmaids poet you have police politician of words philander philosopher of words prophet preamble preacher walking before your people these are your fates which you cannot escape born or made take them to the heart and in the heat stand your argus the argument stand your gabber gabble gaga giving light to tough recalcitrant thoughts singing far beyond the myself of the eye with its beautiful wounds earned in the battle thought beside the outpour of companions gods maneuvering around the gifted soul for our plutonian faith birth your poems painfully play your way plying deep into the pit of your poetic rendezvous round about the howls of the gods to gather our greater gifts giving it in the end poet of the absolute chemical of the brain of the smoke of myself where the hidden murder of the angels take place above the sore floor of the maid and laid overspread shade of the fourth earth with its blood and wood food for the winged things stored in the cracks where life seeks a foothold bold to squeeze into the hands of a mother that takes her name off the birth certificate of the abandoned children of the punishment beneath the weary knees on thoughts that have forgotten what was sought in the impeached special falsified pleasured dry of the unknown why I spy the last naked lie that poets tell in their rhetoric bullshit voyages resounding off the poems of the trees and of ancestral illumination trembling with the ripe and electricity that beneficent the extremities of the fatigued eyes the tame eyes the Deafness of eyes reincarnated under the decked efforts that breaks its opaque captivated feminine water aroused by the growth of the motion of emotions in closed flinch that makes the heart beat its unique intimate fragrant pumping up from the depth down our visions that rise to offend the lost cause of a crowded sky where the clouds built in the hour stand by to shower when its intent is spent the cold blow glow of water when the ground around the air there is heard by the rings of the wings of birds that sing the mention of the approved love of stones for stones in the light gray light of approaching night in the dark remark of sight the divine lust of night is bright and it raised to the passing skies replies when the earth birth its own rehearsed imagining chaotic of falling into and out of order the sun had run its light in a changing mood the watching chastening of the wind is done the heart that start near the fear of a tear that breaks down the cheek is aware of the lost cost to be paid by the slow woes that we were in the trinity of our solo troubadour of the modern age where forth in your wandering why are you selected secretly sedentary steep in the self-rumbling security blanket of the university go you bold blood into the seductive sergilous streets where your people wait longing to laugh and weep where pushkin pushing pounds of poem in williams carlo williams Red wheel barrow along the streets of St. Petersburg where he yields his way to the young knowing in his heart that the children shall play about his ashes when the children come. Oh go you boisterous rhinoceros rhyme royal rhythmic restrict of the immoral image you who impide the working of the soul you who have lost you innocent by intercourse with the angles you who confess all even the ambition inch of the systematic preciousness of words you stretch the bounteous boundary of a bountiful body in a world of conformity say to your peoples look to me I am the light, I am the way, I am the equal episodic play of elevated elongation, efflorescence, emotion unfolding to bloom on the electroluminescence, egotism of your tongue, I am the objective ossifrage breaking on the osculum of your breaths, a what is heard on the mysterious mystagogue of the streets you have the tears of the moon you have the sweat of the sun speak your peace hold not your tongue take on all that may come be one body in the earth be one mind beneath the breath of the moon be the eyes of the singular 
Sung your hair in the head of the trees, your semen swim in the muddy mire, mirage of the age of the Nile, with a morning molded mouth full of stones, and the flesh of your hands torn by the pen with the teeth of your heart that arouses the last of your maddening mindfulness held tight for telling me one with the birth of your poems for as long as it takes let the children come to play and be fed at your breast like the twin of Rome nurse them into leaving home to go among the radiating gesture of the public and belong on the tongue of the streets where there is no accidental birth of poems you are the wanting one the one wh wishing for the measured willfulness of man be not like the industrialized lit stock of modern man packed in their pen such as the comfort conformity of contemporary man hemmed in and dog tied to forced all their wild side placated by the tv light glowing like an old flame to sell us the latest things aiming to make our lives bearable in the need to be one in an age of the resurrection holy queen mother banished by the blessed fruit of the worthy promises O clement O loving O sweet virgin mother look down upon your children exiled from the history of evil prayers of the tv map pray for us in the tribe language of selling christmas in october hail mother mistress to angels the gate of morn is a light born grant may i praise the strength that poets their enemies slaved by the pen i wait their resurrection from the frailty of the streets mother mary pray for me that i may see the house finch singing from the highest branch of an old fruitless mulberry tree that i may resist the commercialization selling of the birth of your son well born that the poet may be the first to come to the battle for the soul of man all poets with the blood of your pen go into the temples to win gods his guests into your hearts give words to the temptation of your sins their implements within acknowledge the guilt of the gods hands i summon thee to pretend to pretend that you are the warriors of the gods posed to defend with attentive ears let not the worthful fruit be rotting on the tree of self-knowledge pick them for everyone to eat feed the needy soul that hunger hung to know itself my thoughts be with you on your innocent journey to uncover the oppressors clothed in their shameful deeds of gluttony in the fat society of empty bellies betray the treachery and lying lords of the state you command our reverence your poems are our heirlooms written words of wisdom woven from the stuff of the common livelihood of being one in a world of many let your divine art speak freely speak richly of the poor shouldering the society of hand to mouth feeding reach beneath their outward appearances reach into the meat of their matter we call you to holy battle for the wisdom of being human the heavy burden is on your shoulders by the practice of your pen are you called to defend plant your discontent that any righteous man should be oppressed by the lack of funds robbed of the working of his soul to know for true wisdom lives in us all the law gives the law take away the wisdom of the gods must come into play O poet of the lost wisdom of being one in the world, teach us not to tell tell taunt nature, but how to be the food of the gods. Let the meat us whole, fill their bellies fat with our faith and folly. We wait your cunning coming, your conniving comfort, causing a conductance meditation on the stained sins till it's pure and cleansed by your scholar scriptural satisfied ear that hears the fifth oblation of knowing the knowledge of the self under the air under the air is the satisfied eating under the rain god's glory gracious in the quality of it's water running the ink of a finished poem dark purple from the black down the page tears from the inner emotions embed in the illuminates of everything poet you are the man in manifestation you are the infatuated first tachyon of wants you are the thunder clap that roar the thunderbolt and enlighten the animals in men's clothing know that your flesh is but a cloak that you wear that the higher order is within your grasp that the body clock is subject to body time that your life is a rhyme that you are the harvester of the secret truculent 
truth truncated by the trumpet howling of a wolf caged at the two you are not doing the old art of your craft that crave to be understood by the alienating world you with your underground and that protest the possibility of wrongs done in the name of the great new order colder than the old you are man's brother sister of the righteous cause to shine your light on the secure emotional working of the world mouthpiece of nature alienated sufferers of the gods the cost of your quest will leave you crucified on the tree of life such is the price for which you must fight for the knowledge that you invite to enter into your pen friend and sometime foe men fight against the enforced conformity with every cell of your skin ask who am i feel forced to define as you know yourself you know whether you see by a difficult light the true right of a murderous moon look night eaten by the spoon of danger be you my fearless other brother as his priest cousin of the cause that witnessed you all that seeks to destroy your eccentricities the fertility of your independent individuality as you seeks to aid man in his quest most will annoy you at best raise above their disrespect they know not what they do sue your soul glue your poem to the billboard at bus stops write them and know your operation is to let the people know shine not from the cause that called to be the mouthpiece of all Oh, teach as you teach that all living things are divine and know it in your bones. Go along for the sake of going explore the unknown. Travel the undrawn troubled path. Your poems are lights that illuminate the working of the of the old human soul. Draw into yourself. All that there is to know take on the questions that blows through the streets and make them your own through all the years leaves and tears that been down the brown dreams found beyond all the youth of truth that are the landmark star of their own life bloom. From the womb of your hand the unseen noise of girls and boys out about the world in their motion of play with zest in their breast of youthful joy wild in the art of being young the art part of smart of the raw thought obey the free play of the choice voice that make and take the wide side of joy sacrifice yourself to the knowing of the people be their valentine valid vital voice show them that shall be choice of the world hurled into itself its self-centered desire its sweet deep hurled into the steep mountains be one with the less distressed success of the people's forgetfulness be the mythological trickster attack the common conventions that keeps us down around the bottom boredom of the everyday worry worship of being alive in the law-abiding urban canyons of civilized structures where man's free instant instincts are represent repressed become a holy fools for your god's sake against the mundane social society not control us or us mold us in its cold concrete embrace bodies fast forward forth take note of the agonizing chaos of your society not we have come too far to escape wait upon the lowest man's needs to know that his life in the crowed city is not all for not let your poems glow as they blow across the ears of the words scented years be one with your pen as if it's a sword in battle more intimate than the gun get up close and personal with friend and so seek you to protect the protesting rebels sensibility and ability slay the beast of conformity not ye hurriedly eat the romance of the common man suffer you not the self mockery self doubt of the hero as victim vital is your quest for self in the concrete forest of metal and reflected glass giving the new light redeem your ego in a godless universe with its holy indifference for the intellect of man half fool half visionary seek to reconstruct the society not for a lack of change and the relentless dependencies of the procurement of money bruise and brand the soul with the dull ordinary and the conventional mood you bear the burden Imposed by you habit of the pen of being the redeemer of the ordinary man in the loneliness and suffering you will be made the scapegoat for the myth-making goal set before you go exceeding the limits of the self toward the mythic salvation of a revolutionary vision go. 
to depict the new reality not called to you from the breath of the muses set yourself free from the chains of the order of the state and sing the revolutionary act that can but save the civil society of man from the drudgery that beseeches him be you made in the image of the gods and go godlike throughout the land where a cultural crisis rules the day seek out the maladjustment that cloth you worship the neurotic judgment of your pet wop as protagonist heart necessary to combat the mass society of mass culture of the TV sedating. The vision of selfhood do battle with the heroes of financial action that will stall and steal steer us into increasing their wealth transcend the conflict between yourself and society to transform them both into a new worthy vision of the world in spite of its hatred and indifference toward. You do not let them drive you to the slicing sideline of literal life in the sum of the skin turn the mound of material of life into the stiff stuff of your art at the service of the common normality of man poet of the moment's momentous monotonous morning year. Cries shall not go unheard in the undulating renaissance national streets of the state that lead you to chaos and disorder lead you to the brainwashing order to do the bidding of a state that seeks to control all under the applied appendages of its hands make your allegiance to the citizens to the lowest of the low to the common man with his woeful woes in the materialistic matrix that flow know that you are in danger of always being alone and in that is your strength your vision rooted in your alienation as trickster of the mental the physical of the spiritual dare to assail the citadel to remake the outer world in your mindful vision that all be well by man the force of your strength is in words where is heard the romantic criticism toward the stale state wishing to maintain the static status quo of the rich financing the control of the poor let the works of your imagination save you let your cultural alienation make you let your hearty heart place you before the pulpit of the people be a wanderer of the city streets to meet yourself on the beat where beauty is real in all of its dark and damp down dirtiness know that nature is a divine spark of which man is a small Part of the holiness of trees, the wanting holiness of bees, the fair flowers, bounties blooming in its season of choosing a timetable known and nurtured by nature, the sharing shine of the sun with its rhyming of wild, wily warm fight against the common drudgery that chained the souls of men to his machines as once the slave in the sugar mills of South America used teach them the tenderness and intimidating intimacy of nature as godhead of all knowable knowledge known be self strong enough to do wrong as seen by the eye of the overbearing state weight not upon some unknown hour to go with your poetic powers to be the street priest of the simplest kindness and trust where the machines rust in the sunlight where men in their criminal fight fall on the battlefield that is the modern city young men falling by the gun in the hands of youths who seeks power in their powerless lives their disenfranchisement where the young and strong prey upon the old and weak for goods to put them in the life that they are bred to what let it be said of you that you have given you're all to the cause of the welfare of man hold nothing back let nothing lack of your pondering pen let your poems be written blood love the unloved do not stand above his some icon of the state wait for the ones who stagger behind leave no man in your wake and wake for you are their serpent servants in matter of the head and heart offer the fig of your poetry to all who hunger be at once saint and demon seasoned by the time in your scheme let loose your wisdom by the pen again and again till your lifetime ends in times of stress on you do man depend to speak of what they keep within a resolution of recognition that all men are can strike a deadly blow against the commercialization of the soul that the foot sobbers knows that they are not alone oh pay 
top pieties of poets ponder the death and weep of the lost souls caught to be brought and sold for the standard of gold undervalued for the fabric price paid they play out their lives in debt from the cradle to the grave this is the way the society expect us to pay for the freedom that we have made commercials commercialization is a war waged bombarding us day by day to sell our souls where the poor pay more in a society of things where sickness is a profitable sun to sing where credit is the wedding ring poets redeem and recreate the world through your suffering let it be an emotional shield Poet, do not give me misogynistic misrepresentation and misinformation, but be an honest, honest student of the life-giving force of the wondrous working of the minaret mind and the bodacious body that call us to the prayers of life facing the raising and setting of the sun you are the father of man teach with your rhythmatic riff that runs on the tongue how to be one within the whole of the world speak of mama birth and pot of death the decided coin and all that lies in between make our lives an easy thing praise and scold the old habit of being human we wait the working of your pen to teach us of the art of being men a poet of the encrusted sea of words that can be drowned by their many meanings a poet of the transparency of the wind muzzled by the buildings of downtown O poet of the impetuous delirium, fragmented laughter lingering with its liberating language. O poet of the visionary, voluminous memory of hands. O poet of an extraordinary despair that ripped and stripped us bare. Be ancient in your age of wisdom. Be one born to do the common good. O poet of the tolerant tonality tone. Poem of the tongue. Speak of the dead gods gone that they live again. Save them that all are my friends. All belong to the firmly established family of man. Speak the stranded stainless herd of the essence of the euphoistic euphonic word. Speak in the irrepressible irregular talking tongues till all is one be an underground outcast heroic you victim of the social forces that live outside of you in the city there is a profound loss of identity that will alienate you maintain your deeply held self be not the helpless protagonist wandering in the dark conflict of the canyon you are the makers of art be not set apart from the message of your heroic heart know that man is a warping warring creature who find faults to wage war by at every tight turn of the hazy head oh poet heroic in your resolution you alienated from the culture that will not accept you look you deep into the mystery of life with its revolutionary distortions of an abstract ideology and bureaucratic chains an ideology of metaphysics inequities urging on the radical raucous of racial reform and aware of it all undergoings and doings in the dark conventional region of conventional religion all part of the sacrificial communion save man from his alienation from nature and a sense of his whole self join you the people's private morals to their public society and transform the arguments of religious belief to solace of serving the greater good against the corruption of state and church with their inflexible parasitical ideals of the masses meaning nothing more than to make their way along the road of life with a full belly and a roof over their head for a man's fate is fixed by church and state woven and stitched into the fabric we make of living in the scheme oh sometimes sentimentalist sounding your necessary words for those overwhelmed by the brutality of daily labor and the escapism of the holy solution of the eternal condemnation all part of the radical honesty that both church and state fear for the raw flesh reeks of the persecution of the Mass Azo poet priest of the new martyrdom of the persecuted homeland of the heart the hero is again an exile by the power of the triviality of the god and now I have reached the end I hope that in this day and age that you can comprehend I 
Hope Anirag made a song to sing Anirag emergently entertained that your time had not been spent in vain the muses with their miraculous muscles have quit the game I no longer call upon their names my words are now scattered like fading shredded grass under the lawnmower's dazzling requiem of noise in the drunkenness of a collapsed memory naked on the last cinder of a fading dream with its wondrous scenery of the intimate armor sweep to the narrow morning breaking though the threshold of the monsoon's blood that pours and run a ground filling. Up the crevasse of what we dare not wish to know for a time all that is said is said to end with the word word.